about if it consists of more than one term. Like what? Like 5x minus 4y, for example. 5x minus 4y. This one consists of how many terms, Yehana? Two. Two. So this one is called binomial. Okay? What about okay. if it consists of three terms? Like 5x minus 4y plus 2. Count. How many terms in front of you now? In front of you now. Three. Three. So this one is trinomial. Okay? Is, is there more than three? So we would say it polynomial. Okay. Okay? Uh, I have also a, a question. Yes. Uh, if, it, if it is 3xy, power of 2. Yes. So it, it would be called quadratic uh, minomial. No, it, it's yes. Because this one, yes. uh, you are talking about a question was in a homework? Right? No, uh, I got it from my mind now. Okay, just a second. The number, I'm talking about the number term. Listen to me. Uh, tell, tell me your, uh, your uh, example again, please. 3xy power of 2. Just a second. 3xy power of 2. Right? Yes. This one. If I want to classify it, then according to the number of its terms, it will be what? Monomial. Mm. It will be monomial, monomial. because it consists yes. of one, 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 term. one term, right? What about yes. uh, the name for it? Sorry, the degree. The degree. Uh, is two, one. which is quadratic. No, the degree. The degree. This, two. Yes. No, 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 no. This one, I have one and I have two. So the degree uh, three. equals three. So it depends on the degree, how you will classify. This is third degree. So we will say what? Did you remember the table which I uh, put it yesterday? It's yes. called cubic. Yes. It cubic. will be cubic. Yes, yeah, Laura. Yes, it will be cubic. Yes. Okay. So please, you can watch the video again, yeah, yeah, Hannah. You will find everything on it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. You're welcome. What else you want to ask me about it? No, for thank your, you. For your homework, uh, you are welcome, honey. For your work, uh, for your homework yesterday, uh, Bomika. Bomika. Bomika, are you here? Yes, yes, I'm here. Uh, Bomika, you have to resend to me your homework because the folder is empty. And then, then it's empty again. Your homework. I can't find your homework. I will show you now. You didn't upload your homework. And Ms. Sahar, can I send it? What's up? And until that, I will talk to Mr. Haitha. Okay, but not now because you know that now I have a session. Okay, Ms. Sahar. Okay. Thank uh, you. So this is here. Uh, Bomika, your folder is empty. Okay. okay. And also, Yusuf uh, Al Sayyid, Yusuf Hefela. Yusuf Hefela. The homework for most of the class this time it was amazing. Uh, there are some students, they have uh, questions they uh, didn't uh, answer it. So you will check your model answer. You know where you can find the model answer? You know where you can find the model answer grade, uh, grade nine? In the teacher library. In the teacher library. Thank you. Hala, a key answer for the assignment. Okay. Uh, today. Let's add the question. Yes, sure. اه كومبيتيشن في الاخر هيبقى كل واحد يحل لوحده ولا مع بعض ولا ايه لا الكومبيتيشن في الملتيبلاينج بولي نوميلز ان ملتيبلاينج بولي نوميلز بولي نوميلز مينز ذات اتس كونسيستس اوف وات يس لورا ات هاز نو فاريبلز اند ات سوري نو فاريبلز نو فاريبلز يس بولي نوميل a polynomial. No, I'm talking about polynomial. So listen to me. Oh, sorry. A polynomial is made up of terms that are only added or subtracted or multiplied. It can have a constant, variable, and exponent. Polynomial can have many terms. So this is, is a polynomial. What are polynomials? 
So again, polynomials is what made up terms that are only added, subtracted, or multiplied. It can have constant variables and exponents. Polynomials can have many terms. If we have a question like this, multiply 2x plus 3 times 5x plus 8. So we can solve this question by using distributive methods. So we have two methods to answer this question. Number one, using the distributive property to multiply, which means I'm going to divide the first number, 2x plus 3. I will divide it into two parts. First time, I'm going to take 2x and I will distribute it over the parentheses 5x plus 8. Then I have 3. I'm going to make the same 3 times 5x plus 8. Then 2x times 5x, it will be 10x squared. 2x times 8, it will be 16x. 3 times 5, it will be 15x. And then 3 times 8, it will be 24. We will combine the like term together. Where is the like term in this question? Where is the like term here? 2x. Yes, 16x and 15x. Yes, the x. So we will yes. add them together. So the answer it will be 31x. And we have another way. This way is called what? Grade 8. This way is called what? Foil method. method. Did you remember file method? The extra part which I added last year. Did you remember? Foil methods. So what's foil? F for the first term, O for the outer terms, I for the inner terms, and L for the last terms. So the word foil, we will take each letter and we will write that F for first, O for outer, uh, I for inner, and L for last terms. Then, the file method can be used when they multiply two binomials. So, FOIL, we can't use it in all multiplications with polynomials. We will use FOIL only with binomial. But if you have binomial multiplied by trinomial, then the distributive method is better to use. Then, if I have a question like this, if there anyone can solve this question, grade the seven, grade nine, sorry. If there anyone can solve this question? Yeah. Mm. Anyone Foil. can? Yes. With the foreign method? Yes, with the foreign method. We, where is the first and first? Huh? It will be y the times. The y and y. Y and y, y it will be. To be y, two y squared. Y and outer. You know, where, where is the outer? Y and seven. It will be. Y and seven. Seven y. Seven y. And then 3 and y, 3 y, y and then you will add them together. It will be 7 y and 3 y, it will be 10 y, right? And then last time, last 3 times 7, it will be equal 21. Then again, step by step, f for first, y times y, it will be y squared, right? Second. We will work with outer y times 7, it will be 7y. Then inner 3 times y, it will be 3y. And then last time, last to find the answer. Monomial times a binomial. If you have a monomial, means it consists of how many terms? Grade uh, 9 monomial means that it consists of? 1. 1. And binomial means? Two. Two. Then how we are going to multiply monomial by binomial? We will multiply x times x, it will be x squared. x times 4, it will be 4x. Easy? Easy? Yes, I don't understand yeah. the file method. Oh, I'll, I'll back. The file method? Yes. Okay. Listen, yeah. Yes, why, why we, when, when you multiply x times x, you get x power of 2, not 2x? Because when you are going to add two numbers together, sorry, to multiply two numbers, you have to add the exponents. You have to add the exponents. That, then let me show you something. What is the difference between 
x plus x شوي x plus x equal how many هنا equal two uh, x two x two right we will not change anything with the variable but if I will say x multiply by x it will be how many one which is x it will be x to the power of two okay b x to the power of two why because we are going to add the coefficient together uh, sorry the exponent together so this is x to the power of one and this is x to the power of one then one plus one equal x to the power of two okay so if you will multiply then you have to add the exponents together I'll back to Ahmed Uta uh, question. Ahmed, you told me that you didn't understand the FOIL method, right? Yes. In case you have x plus 2 multiply by x minus 5. You will start with first time first, yeah, Ahmed. Where is first and first? Uh, x plus hmm. x the first number here and the first number. Then x times x, it will be how many? x power of 2. x to the power of 2, right? After that, the outer x times negative 5, it will be? Negative 5x. Negative 5x. Then the inner, those two. 2 times x, it will be? 2x. 2x. You will add a like term together. So you have negative 5x plus 2x. It will be how many? Negative 3x. Thank you. Negative 3x. And by the end, it should be last time last. 2 times negative 5. It will be how many? Negative 10. Negative 10. Understood, you, Ahmed? Yes, miss. Thanks. Okay. Well, all the class understood this, this way, FOIL method? Sahar. Yes, honey. Can you give one more example? I still sure, can't. Sure, sure, sure. It was all my pleasure. 3x minus 4 time 5x plus 1. Then what we have to do, huh? remember, F O F O I I L. L. So what's F? First number. First time first. Then three x times five x. It will be fifteen x squared. Fifteen x squared. Square. Because we have to add the exponents together. Fifteen x squared. After that, the outer. How do you get um, the exponent to? One plus one x ah, multiplied okay. by x x x multiply by x you have to add the exponents here you have one and you have one right then you will add the exponents together here laura it will be x to the power of what of two. two then let's back to the question 3x times 5x it will be 15 x squared after that in outer 3x times one it will be how many 3x times 3x. Right? And negative 4 times 5, it will be? Negative 20x. Negative 20x. Do you have a like term? What? 3x and negative 20x. We will add them together. It will be negative, negative 17x. 17x. The last step. Negative 4 times 1, it will be negative, negative four. 4. Okay, so once you have two polynomials and we want to multiply them together, then we are going to use the file method. Understood? Yes. Any question so far? Any question? Okay, let's move to something else. In case if we have monomial times a trinomial, what we have to do grade, uh, grade nine? Monomial means one term, 
multiply by a trinomial, which is consists of how many terms? Consists of how many terms? Trinomial, trinomial three terms, right? So we will start to distribute in first our monomial distributed over the trinomial. Then we will start first with this one. The coefficient before x squared is one. So it will be two times one equal two. X times x squared, we will add the exponent. So it will be x to the power of three. Then two x times three x, it will be six x squared. 2x times 4, it will be 8x. So this is how we can multiply or how we can distribute a monomial over a trinomial. Anyone want to me to say again? Miss, can we use the distributive property in all cases? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But, but it will take a long time. Yani if you are going to use soil methods, you will not waste your time. It needs only a practice, Yehana. Okay. Okay? This question now. Huh? Who will tell me how we can solve this question quickly? Did you remember? First time, first. Y squared. Outer, inner, and then last time, last. Any question about this part? No. Right? But now we have all of this is multiplying binomial. But in case you have x plus six and x minus six, how we can use use a, a method, a, sorry, a file method to answer this question? X plus six and x minus six. Let's first start. First time first. Yes, first time first. Time first. X time x, it will be x square. Then outer, it will be negative times, six, equal negative six, six, and then last time last equal negative 36. Do you have any like term in this question? Yes. Yes, which is? Um, six X and six X. Negative six X and negative positive six, 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 right? If yes. you will add them together, if you will simplify them together, then it will be equal zero, zero. zero right? Then you have to deal with the first time first and last time last this is it will be the final answer what do you notice about the two polynomial binomial at the top it was x plus six and the x minus six what do you notice about the two binomials here what do you notice you didn't notice anything x plus six and x minus six huh what so do you notice it will have no multiple term Sorry? It will have no middle term. It will have no middle term. Yes. Yes, Debo. What do you not see, Debolina? They are additive inverse. Yes, they are additive inverse. You have six and you have negative six. So the two binomials, exactly they are the same, but they have only different sign. So we have to put a rule like uh, Adham said, we don't have a middle term. So once you have the same x and x, positive six and negative six. So the answer, it will be first time first and last time last, and that's it. So let me give you another example. Two x plus five, two x minus five. What do you not grade nine? What do you not? Two x and two x, negative five and positive five, which means you will expect that you have a middle term or you will, you can't find a middle term no middle we can't term. find a middle you term can't find a middle term so don't waste your time to make outer and inner you are going to make directly first time first and last time last and that's it okay Let's so this you yes middle term uh, uh, again please what do you mean by middle term middle term okay did okay. you remember when we said first time first yes and when uh, when we cal calculated outer and inner, outer and inner means the middle term. So we have first term, middle term, third term. Okay. Okay. Then, um, let me highlight this part. This part now, it will be the middle term. But when you have the same number with its additive inverse, the result for the middle term it will be equal zero, right? Then in this question, we don't have a middle term. 
we are going to only make first time first and last time last, and that's it, to answer that question quickly. What about the next question? Question number two. It was 2x and 2x, positive 5 and negative 5. What do you not see, Laura? Additive first. Yeah, so you have negative, you have the first number is the same 2x and 2x, and the second number is 5 and negative 5. What do you expect? Don't waste your time. How you are going to solve that question in a quick way? Uh, first, first and the second. Yes, first time first only and second and second. That's it. Then it will be 2x times 2x. It will be 4x squared. 5 times negative 5, it will be negative 25. What about if you want to work with FOIL methods? Okay, I accept. I uh, uh, agree with you. You want to calculate outer and then you want to calculate inner. So the outer, it will be negative 10x. The inner, it will be 10x. Then once you are going to add them together, you will find their sum equal zero. So I said for the special product, once you have the same number, but we have different sign at the middle, then we will not calculate the middle term. We are going only to use first time first and last time last. And always the sign between them should be negative. Always the sign between them should be negative because six times negative six, five times negative five, and so on. What else with the special product? You have x plus 8 all to the power of 2. If I want to expand this expression, you have x plus 8 to the power of 2. If you want to expand it, that means that you are going to repeat x plus 8 how many times? Two times. Two times, yes. So it, you have x plus 8 and x plus 8. And we will back to the mat, to FOIL method again x multiplied by x, it will be x squared. Outer, it will be 8x. Inner, it will be 8x. Last time last, it will be equal 64. Now we have a like term at the middle, positive 8 and positive 8. I'm going to add, but don't touch the exponent because with addition, we will not change anything with the exponent. Then x to the power of 2, it will be the same. 8 plus 8, it will be 16, and then we will put 64. So this case is called perfect square numbers. X plus 8 all to the power of 2. Then you will repeat a number in parentheses two times. X plus 8 and X plus 8. Okay, let's move to the last question here. 4X minus 3 all to the power of 2. What we have to do? Hmm. We will remove the exponent. We will remove the exponent and we will expand, right? The two parentheses yes. to make it binomial. And then we will use the same method, FOIL, 4x times 4x, it will be uh, 16x square, outer, inner, and then we will add them together. And then last time last. There are uh, uh, There is a quick way we can use it here to answer this question if you have it power of two. If you understood this method, you are welcome. But we have another method. We can say that you are going to multiply the first one by itself, then it will be 4x times 4x, it will be 16x to the power of two, okay? And then second times second, negative three times negative three, it will be positive nine, then I'm going to multiply all the numbers by 2. Like what? 4 multiply negative 3, it's negative 12. Times 2, it will be negative 24. Okay? Then first times second times 2. Then you have 4 times negative 3 equal negative 12. Times 2 equal negative 20. Four, and don't forget the variable in the question, which it was x. You want me to say again? So you can solve uh, 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 perfect square numbers like power of two by using file method and also by using the second method. You can multiply again. The first time itself, 4x times 4x, it will be 16x squared. Negative 3 times negative 3, it will be positive 9. 
then all the numbers in front of you multiply by two. Understood grade nine? Once we have a question like this, so we have a monomial and we want to distribute this monomial over the trinomial. Then you will start step by step like this. It will be two X times three equal six X times X square. It will be how many? X, power of three. X to the power of three because multiplication, we are going to add the exponent. Then two times three, it will be six X to the power of three. The second, like this, two times negative two, it will be negative four. Then x times x, it will be how many? x squared. Plus two. Okay, the last one, two x times one, it will be positive two x. And that's it. So we have how we can multiply monomial by trinomial or even monomial by binomial, it should be by distributive method. Uh, in binomials with a special case, we can use a FOIL method. Any questions so far? Ms. Sahar? Yes, Habib. Excuse me. I have a question. If you, if